Hello everyone, my name is Mrs Dolling and I'll be teaching you your maths lesson today and it's lesson number 12 on fractions. It is now time to review our challenge question from last time. What number could the arrow be pointing to? Chen thinks that the number is two tenths, but Sara thinks the number is six tenths. Who do you think is correct? Don't forget that Mrs Chambers asked you to explain your answer. Did you do that? Did you get that Chen is actually correct? But the important part is, could you explain why? Your explanation might be slightly different to mine. Sara can't be correct because six tenths is a larger number on the number line than two tenths. Six tenths would be further away from zero and closer to ten tenths or one whole. Chen's answer of two tenths is a number that is closer to zero than six tenths. And I can visualise that the arrow is pointing to two tenths. Therefore, Chen is correct. What do we see here? We've got a bar model and a number line. What do you notice about them? Well, they've both been divided into five equal parts. So what would our unit fraction be? Well, it will be one fifth. We know that when we count in unit fractions, they make a non-unit fraction. For example, three lots of one fifth make three fifths. Let's have a go at counting in our unit and non-unit fractions using the bar model and number line to help us. Remember to start counting from zero, and we'll start with unit fractions. Are you ready? Zero, one one fifth, two one fifths, three one fifths, four one fifths, five one fifths. Well done if you were following along at home. Now let's do the same but let's count up using non-unit fractions. Remember, we're going to start from zero again. Are you ready? Let's go. Zero, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Well done. Let's do this question together. We've seen this image before, haven't we? What do you notice? Well, the whole has been divided into five equal parts. So our unit fraction is one fifth. What can you see now? Well, four parts are shaded. Shall we count them using our unit fractions to help? One one fifth, two one fifths, three one fifths, four one-fifths. Now, shall we use our stem sentence to say it together? The whole has been divided into five equal parts. Four-fifths of those parts are shaded. Now, shall we have a go at writing our fraction as a number on a number line? Our number line has been divided into five equal parts. So let's count up the equal parts. We've got one one fifth, two one fifths, three one fifths, four one fifths, and five one fifths. Now we're going to count on the number line starting at zero and stop at the number that matches our fraction. Are you ready? Are you going to stop at the right place? Let's have a go. Zero, one one fifth, two one fifths, three one fifths, four one fifths. That's it. Did you stop at the right point? We can write this fraction as a number as four fifths. I remember this. Do 
you? We wanted to find out how tall the plant had grown. How many equal parts has the metre stick been divided into? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The metre stick has been divided into ten equal parts. So what is our unit fraction? It's one tenth. Now let's see how tall the plant has grown. I wonder what fraction of one metre the plant measures. Let's count. One one tenth, two one tenths, three one tenths, four one tenths, five one tenths, six one tenths, seven one tenths. So let's say our stem sentence together. The plant measures seven tenths of the whole metre. Now let's write the fraction as a number on a number line. How many equal parts would our number line need? Well, it would be 10 equal parts. Now, Let's show our fraction on the number line. Can you shout stop when we reach our fraction? Count up with me and stop when we reach our fraction. Remember to start from zero. Ready? Let's go. Zero, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. Did you shout stop? Well done, that's fantastic. Now let's write our fraction, seven tenths. We're going to continue to practice our counting in unit and non-unit fractions on a shape and on a number line. So have a look at the shape and have a look at the number line. How many equal parts has the whole been divided into? That's right, nine equal parts. So our unit fraction is one ninth. Let's count up in unit fractions of one ninth. Off we go. One one ninth, two one ninth, three one ninths, four one ninths, five one ninths, six one ninths, seven one ninths, eight one ninths, nine one ninths. Well done. Now let's count up in non-unit fractions. Remember to start from zero. Are you ready? Zero, one ninth. Two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. Well done for counting along at home. Can you spot the number four ninths on your number line? Can you point to where it is? Where would you point to? Well done if you're pointing to this point here on the number line that shows four ninths. Let's have a go at counting up and down with our eggs. How many equal parts has the egg box been divided into? How many equal parts are there on the number line? Well, they both have 12 equal parts. So our unit fraction is 1 12th. Let's count up in unit fractions in 12ths. Count along with me and don't forget to start on zero. Off we go. Zero, 1 1 12th, 2 1 12th, 
three one twelfths, four one twelfths, five one twelfths, six one twelfths, seven one twelfths, eight one twelfths, nine one twelfths, ten one twelfths, eleven one twelfths, twelve one twelfths. Well done for counting along at home. Now let's count up in non-unit fractions. Remember to start from zero. Are you ready? Let's go. Zero, one twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, nine twelfths, ten twelfths, eleven twelfths, twelve twelfths. Well done. Can you point to the number 11 twelfths on the number line? Where would it go? Where is 11 twelfths? Well done if you're pointing to here, 11 twelfths. Now let's look at our practice activity. Can you show this fraction using a number line? So you might have to ask an adult to help you with drawing a number line. Remember to use a ruler and you could have it that one centimetre equals one equal part. When representing this fraction on a number line, what number are you going to have to stop counting up to on the number line? What point will you stop at? Remember, it has to be accurate. Your arrow can't be spaces in between. It has to be pointing exactly at the fraction that this drawing is showing. Let's have a look at your next practice activity. Here is a window. How many panes of glass can you see? Oh, what's happened to the glass in some of the panes? Well, some of them have been broken. What fraction of the whole window will need new window panes? Can you show this fraction using a number line? Can you write the fraction as well? I wonder, as a depth activity, what fraction of the window pane did not break? How would this fraction look different? Can you have a go at representing this number on a number line? How would it look different? Thank you for joining uh, today and see you soon.